Look at this planet. Now, look at these. This world lies in the middle of these three galaxies on the verge of colliding. This galactic interaction is known as ARP-272 and lies about 450 million light years away in the constellation of Hercules. This celestial event features two main galaxies caught in a gravitational dance that's been unfolding for hundreds of millions of years. Through the eye of the Hubble Space Telescope, we've been able to witness this slow-motion cosmic ballet, offering us invaluable insights into the dynamics of galactic evolution and interaction. Galaxies, much like the stars and planets within them, are not static. They move, interact, and sometimes collide, triggering a cascade of cosmic phenomena. This particular interaction is not just a spectacle. It's a laboratory used by scientists to understand the forces that shape our universe, the formation of stars, and the behavior of galaxies over time. ARP-272 was cataloged by Halton ARP in his 1966 Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies, which compiled examples of irregular galactic formations. ARP's catalog was an attempt to document the diverse ways galaxies evolve over time, including through interactions and collisions. Thanks to advancements in telescope technology, we've been able to study ARP-272 in ways ARP could only have dreamed of. The Hubble Space Telescope, with its high-resolution imaging capabilities, has provided us with breathtaking views of these galaxies. This image shows the intricate tidal tails formed by the gravitational forces pulling them together, a clear signature of their ongoing dance. What's fascinating is that you can also see a third galaxy interacting with the galactic duo, adding complexity to its structure and dynamics. Such an image is crucial for understanding how galaxies evolve. By studying the light from these galaxies, astronomers can determine their composition, age, and the rate at which new stars are forming as a result of the collision. This data is invaluable for building models of galaxy formation and evolution. It also offers a glimpse into the future of our own Milky Way. Current observations and simulations predict that in about 4 billion years, the Milky Way and Andromeda, each with their own central supermassive black hole, will begin their dramatic convergence. Thanks to Hubble's measurements of Andromeda's motion, we know that Andromeda and the Milky Way are moving toward each other under the mutual pull of gravity and the invisible dark matter surrounding them. This event isn't a sudden crash, but a gradual merger, where the gravitational forces between them will first distort and then intertwine their stellar and gaseous content. This interaction is expected to lead to a head-on collision, eventually merging into a single elliptical galaxy over about six billion years. In this cosmic dance, a third participant, the Triangulum Galaxy, may also join in the collision and possibly merge with the Andromeda-Milky Way pair later on. The Milky Way itself has experienced collisions and mergers throughout its history, with significant events shaping its structure and evolution. For instance, the collision with the Gaia Enceladus galaxy about 10 billion years ago had profound effects, leading to the creation of the Milky Way's halo and its bar-like structure. Similarly, the ongoing interaction with the Sagittarius galaxy has been influencing the Milky Way, contributing to the formation of stars at various points in time. Getting back to ARP-272, imagine, if you will, a planet positioned in the midst of this cosmic confluence a silent witness to the slow-motion spectacle of galaxies merging. Life on such a central planet would be under the constant light of a billion stars, a perpetual twilight from the combined luminosity of three galaxies drawing near. The night sky would be a tapestry of stellar brilliance, with the milky bands of approaching galaxies stretching across the horizon. Stars being born in distant nebulae, ignited by the compressive forces of the collision, would light up the sky in bursts of color. But this spectacle comes with its dangers. The gravitational tugs could disrupt planetary orbits within the galaxies, including that of our hypothetical planet. If fortunate to remain stable, the planet might experience dramatic climate shifts due to the varying intensity of stellar radiation. Less fortunate worlds could be ejected from their solar systems, 
wandering through the darkness until perhaps captured by another star or doomed to drift endlessly. Of course, this isn't something you would experience within a lifetime unless you could somehow stick around for billions of years. Our central planet, if it survives, might find itself a part of a newly formed galaxy with its night sky forever altered. During a galactic merger, stars play a game of cosmic roulette. While direct star-on-star -star collisions are exceedingly rare due to the vast distances between them, the gravitational upheavals can fling stars into new orbits or even eject them entirely from their galaxies. However, some of the most dramatic actions occur in the dense clouds of gas and dust. Here, the forces of collision compress the material, triggering bursts of new star formation. This process can illuminate the merging galaxies with the light of countless newborn stars, possibly creating densely packed star clusters and illuminating the cosmic wreckage. New planetary systems might also form in the aftermath of the collision, born from the enriched gas and dust that the galactic merger stirs up. These newly formed stars and planets will bear the chemical signatures of their violent origins, carrying heavy elements forged in the hearts of countless previous generations of stars. Perhaps the most dramatic effect of a galactic merger is the dance of the central supermassive black holes. Drawn together by their mutual gravity, these behemoths will slowly spiral toward each other in a process that can take millions of years. As they draw closer, their colossal gravitational fields will emit powerful gravitational waves, rippling through the fabric of space-time itself. When they finally merge, the event could be marked by the release of immense amounts of energy, possibly igniting a quasar or active galactic nucleus, unleashing the energy equivalent of about a hundred million supernova explosions. The aftermath of such collisions is the formation of a new galactic structure. The merged galaxies might settle into a new shape, be it a giant elliptical galaxy or a large, perhaps more chaotic lenticular or spiral form. This new galaxy will carry the scars of its formation for eons, and the distribution of its stars, the shape of its stellar orbits, and the composition of its interstellar medium. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.